burning a car, that wasn't, and I figured that must waste a lot of money. Um, the next progression was, yeah, from a fast street car getting into drag racing. So I've always done it, done it in the late late 80s and some places like that. So uh, we got a little bit serious now. But competitive was, the, was probably the Camira that we had. We bought a cheap chassis Camira, um, had the twin turbo DLS in it. Um, we were reasonably successful with that. We kind of about grew that chassis. Um, it was a, a 90s built pro stock style car then back then where it was designed to, not to go where we were going with it, so time was to step up with, with the GXP. Well, back then we were actually in top sportsman. Um, the Camira ran a 7.0 at 198.55. We kind of, that was the next stepping stone after that, and that was kind of at the, the, the probably the pinnacle point of that car. Uh, it was working fine, but to go faster, we had to get lighter, we had to get uh, safer, was the best thing. Yeah, we, it was a roller, um, it was already a competitive car. Um, we obviously put a, a, a small block LS in it um, with an automatic transmission. Uh, so there was a lot of little changes and we were kind of chasing our tail with it for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we got a hold of it pretty quick. But then when you start stepping up to the next level where we are now, it's a whole new ballgame. 100%, it's, it's, it's power management. Um, power management in then entails suspension, all bits and pieces like that. Uh, and it's a work one with the other without upsetting the other one. So it's a it's a juggling act to get it correct. Um, need a good tuner, need a good suspension guy, need them to work together. Not really, just because I had one, I suppose. It just kind of never changed my mind and kind of stayed with an LS. And um, we kind of got to a point where we're trying to prove a point and we're probably upsetting a few people. Not upsetting them, but people go, oh, it's an LS. Um, yeah, when they've got their big hemis and their pro lines and some pieces and uh, yeah, so the LSs are a good platform. To start with, it was just easy, reliable horsepower. We um, we sit back and we look at the the maintenance schedule of all these big teams. They get back and they're tearing rockers out, they're tearing heads off to turn them around. And we're pretty fortunate in that sense. We get back and it's just it just works. It makes reliable horsepower and it just continues to chug along. What's funny is uh, one of the other crew, Adam and I, were just talking this morning and sitting back looking at the car and the, the truck and everything like that and sort of just said to ourselves like this got really serious in a short period of time it just seems like we sort of went like that and it went from the the Camaro which you know was a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing sort of thing it just it came out and surprised a lot of people and obviously stepping up to the Pontiac and it just got out of hand pretty quick. 
Dave Atkins and America's mm -hmm. Passes at, at 597 at 243 mile an hour. Um, so yeah, that's the benchmark. He's been five once. Um, we'd like to be a consistent five second car. That's where that's our aim is to be there. Being in a pro mod, we're 585 index, um, 260 mile an hour. If we ever hit 260 mile an hour, I'll be the happiest bloke on earth. Um, I don't. We don't intend on going 260 mile an hour, but the 585 is where we'd like to be and competitively at that. So if we can do that. We are competitive in pro mod in Australia. LS in the world, we are the third fastest LS powered car in the world. Uh, we are the second fastest as in mile an hour in the world. Um, we are the quickest and fastest LS powered over a quarter mile in the southern hemisphere. No, it's not bad, it's just um, it's number, number one is so close you can almost taste it. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a niche that's just got to scratch it. I do a lot of work on it. Um, it's pretty much me at home. Um, I thrash away um, you know, the engine. If the engine needs tearing down or rebuilding, that's on me. If the gearbox needs tearing out and it's at home, that's on me. If we're at the track, um, we have the other boys here with Adam and his son Brock, um, you know, Josh, myself, you know, Dale on the, on the, the, the laptop. Um, we're well, at the track, we've got a good team at home. Unfortunately, it's just me. Josh lives further, further away from, from me, so he lives another 100 k's away, so it's a bit hard for him to be there. So yeah, it, it's, 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 a, it's a big job to, to turn it around uh, and be competitive. In some ways, we're not racing every second weekend, which kind of, if we were doing that, I would be a shot duck. I wouldn't be able to turn it around, so, but yeah. At drag races, a lot of people are very competitive, but if someone breaks something, um, you know, Everyone will ask, hey, have you got this, got this, this? And always, someone will always put their hand up. You know, if they've got something, won't be a drama. We did it years ago with the Camira. We blew a window, window out of the side of it. We need some flexing. Um, pack performance guys come straight up, help us right out. They went, sent by my, my boys back around to their workshop, got some flexing, got a cutter, cut the windows out of it for us. You know, that's the kind of things that drag community do do. They jump in and help each other if need be. The camaraderie is just, you know, it's, if people don't realise how everyone butts heads and they're competitive trying to take the next person out, but everyone will pitch in when they be. Look, when we're, when we're there and things are going good, it's great. When things are going pear-shaped, it's shit. <laughs> um, yeah, do, do I take it personally? No, not personally, but it's, you, you, you gotta take the good with the bad. Um, when it's so close to a, to a five second pass, and we know it's there, and the increments we've done, it's a five second pass there. Um, and it's one of those, it's only a very short pass, but it, you damage a lot of stuff quickly, and stuff wears out. If you chop tire shake, it hurts stuff bad. Like, let me explain to people what tire shake is. Um, it rattles your teeth, it'll, it'll rattle fillings out of your teeth. It's that violent inside of the car. So it shakes bolts and things like that loose that you never thought that can come loose. Well, we we use a Haltech ECU and, and all their equipment with that. Haltech do help us out there. Plasmaman with all their clamps, you just can't beat them, they are number one. You know, we're putting a lot of boost pressure down it and never had a, a clamp fail ever. Same as inlet manifolds for an LS, whatever car you're doing, whether it's Coyote or a big block, small block, best inlet manifolds, billet, bulletproof, never had a failing on any, never heard a burst panel on one ever. They're there to protect everything, but never needed it. Um, same as their throttle volumes and all that bits and pieces, it's just Australian product, number one. Um, power Plus Fuels are on board with us, helping us out with Power Plus Fuels. They're great. ACL Race Bearings helps us out with the bearings. Same thing, another Australian product. Um, really good products. You've got to find, if, you, if you've got a sport that is family orientated, um, this is it. Um, it's competitive, but it depends on how competitive you want to be, what class you want to be in. It can be expensive, but same token, you can do a sportsman class um, and be not so expensive. But it's a, it's a good, safe sport. Yeah, we've had some incidents this year with some high-end stuff. Uh, IHRA are onto that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great sport. Oh, it'll be wild once I eventually find time to be able to get it out and have some fun with it. But at the moment, it's it's sitting there, it's complete, it's just finding some time. But 
yeah, as you said, we've um, we put a fair bit of plasma main gear on that. Everything from the the, uh, the cam covers through the inlet manifold, the throttle body, all the clamps, just trying to make it bulletproof because unfortunately it is a small displacement too, Jay, and those things require quite a fair bit of boost. <laughs> yeah, LS the well. Yeah, two yeah. <laughs> is still faster outright. Uh, we'll see. Multiple. See? multiple. Yeah, he hasn't got <laughs> Not me. <laughs> yeah, no.